Welcome to part 7 of Mega Man X2. Um, I've gone back to using the keyboard because I want to get everything and I, you know, everything I've talked about before, you know, I've said it all. So I just need to kill Ostrich, actually. That's all I need to do. I'm gonna do him and uh, Flyer Sponge in one go. And then next video, I'll um, probably get uh, the last couple items. So anyway, I'm doing pretty good right now. Uh, everything's pretty decent. We are smoking bona fide fucking white rhino. And it's legit. For realsies. <laughs> oh man, I need to fill up my fucking tanks. Oh my god, what just happened? Whew, only here on the video game stoner, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. Okay, I don't know what happened, but... Oh, I was probably holding the jump button because I'm not used to these controls. Wah, 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 controls. Oh look, it's an episode of the video game stoner. Oh yeah, I have air dash. That works really well against him. That. That works really, really well against him. Um, and this works really, really well against, well, Crystal Hunter is the weapon of choice when you're fighting Overdrive Ostra. Um, for some reason it works easier if you go to Start Menu, select it. I don't know. Yeah, whatever. And, like many great Mega Man X bosses, this is mostly about rhythm and knowing where his point A is, basically. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, so you charge, you hold it, and you charge. You don't need to do this, especially if you have the armor and so many hearts like I do. But I like to do it because um, I smoke white right now, and I'm extremely, extremely trashed. This is going pretty well so far, though, I think. His life bar is lower than mine, and that's pretty much what- Wow, look at his sprite! That looks fucked up. Piece of cake. Overdrive Ostrich. You have the Crystal Hunter. Yeah, he got a couple hits on me, but it, it doesn't matter. I have so many hearts. I have. I think I'm only missing one. My, I'm, I'll double check before I try to get the Dragon Punch. <coughs> wow. So pretty easy at this point, you know. I can pretty much brute force my way through most any situation. Um, I think Crystal Hunter is good here also, for a number of reasons. 
Um, now that I have all these items, you can see some really interesting weather effects with the weather orb in here. I certainly got this already. Yep. Okay. Make it hot. I think that sounds like a good idea. Ooh. Great music, you know. Once again, you know. I gotta give shoutouts to the music up in here. guys are really dangerous because they'll drop lightning on you. I don't want to fuck with those dudes. So the spike will instant kill you unless you are already damaged. That's kind of an old Mega Man trick that, that we use. love the spiked wheel, you guys. Seriously? It's really good. It's so unorthodox, but it really works. Alright, Wire Sponge. He's really fun to use Sonic Slicer on, because it really fucks his shit up. Like, um... Octopus. Wait a minute, there's something else. Can't be that. Trippin'. Yeah, he's flipping shit now. Okay, you hit him with a regular shot, and it cuts him in half during the explosion animation. Isn't that... Cool. Well, that about does it for part seven. We just blasted through these dudes. Next time, uh, I'm skipping to the next video because the next thing to do is to try to use the wire, the weapon I'm just getting right here, to strike chain to get the heart in Bubble Crab stage. Um, not bubble crab, crystal, crystal snail. Um, it's really hard to do, even with a good SNES controller, so, uh, 
I'm not sure what I would say my odds are, but I figured being so out of practice with the keyboard, I'll make that its own video. So, you know, cause I don't know how long that's gonna, that could that could just be real quick, or it might take me ten minutes. You know. Good stuff up in here. Thanks for joining again. We're making progress. We are. We're going to finish Mega Man X2. And we're going to finish Link to the Past. And we're going to finish do the original Zelda. And then we'll enter a new chapter or a new season. Where we might even actually get around to playing that game John gave me. Okay, peace. See you next time.